Hi, welcome to Maths Nipuna, your Maths buddy. Okay, look at this question. How many of the following numbers 220202 are prime? Okay, so we have four numbers 220202 2020. They ask how many of them are prime numbers. So what is prime number? Prime number is a number which only can divide by itself or one. That means the number cannot divide by any other numbers. So when we look at two, two is only possible. We divide by two and divide by one. We cannot use any other number to divide by two. So two is a prime. So 20, 20 is a even number. Okay, so any even number can divide by two. So even number cannot become a prime. Okay, two zero two also even, so cannot be a prime. Two zero two zero also even number, so it also cannot be a prime number. So from this question, the correct answer is one, which is only. One prime number we have in this set. Okay, look at this question. In which of the regular polygons below is the marked angle the largest? So we are given one, two, three, four, five polygons, but B and C same. A uh, pentagon. This is hexagon. This is rec uh, rectangle and triangle. Okay. So now they ask us which one is the Largest. Okay. When we look at this one, all the givens are internal angle. So generally, we know that for any internal angle, the formula to find the internal angle is n minus two over n over 180 degrees. But in this question, when they ask like this, the largest, we must know that when number of sides increasing, the angle also will be increased. Okay. So anyway, uh, we try uh, for n three uh, for triangle. Okay, three minus two over three times under eighty, which is equal to sixty degrees. When n equal to four, four minus two over four times under eighty equal to ninety degrees. This is rectangle. And for pentagon, n equal to five, five minus two over five times under eighty equal to hundred eight degree. Okay, and then for n equal to six, six minus two over five times under eighty equal to sorry six minus two over six. Okay, six equal to hundred twenty. So you see, eh, when the number of sides are increasing, the number of I mean the angle internal angle are increasing. So this kind of question, I think you can directly answer. The answer is the largest or the now. Uh, The polygon which has a lot of sides are a eh? hexagon six. This is six. This is five. This is five, four, three. So six will be the highest number of sides, and then the largest internal angle. So the answer will be a. Okay, Megul solves six Olympiad problem every day. So if we write here, yeah, Megul can solve six question a day. And Lazaro can solve four question a day. Lazaro four. Question: How many days does it take Lazaro to solve the same number of problem as Miguel solves in four days? Miguel solves four days. Six times four is twenty-four. Now Lazaro must take six times four. This one must be four times six, twenty-four. It's a direct question. So answer is C. Twenty or six days, so six days. Okay, which of these functions has the largest value? Okay, when we look at each and each answer, we normally look at denominator. So in for a, it is over three. This is over eight. This is also over eight. This is a. Uh, Over five, this is over thirteen. Can we see here? Eh? So A. So we try to 
make it uh, just plus first. 8 plus 5 is 13. So this is 13 over 3. So 13 over 3 almost 4. Not almost, it's 4, 1 over 3. Okay, look at B. B is 8 over 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 over 8 is 1. So now this is largest. They ask the largest value. C. 3 plus 5 is 8 over 8 also. So same as the B. And then D. 8 plus 3 is 11 over 5. 11 over 5 is 2, 1 over 5. Okay, 8 plus 3. Then E. 3 over 13. This is small number. This is the smallest. So the largest number is A. Okay, 8 plus 5 is 13 over 3. Okay, a large square is divided into smaller squares. So this is a large square. This is one, two, three, four sm smaller squares. Four squares. In one of the square, a diagonal is also drawn here. They draw the diagonal. What fraction of the large square, large square, is shaded? Okay, we see one by one. Okay, let's see. Our big large square is something like this now. Okay, we divide in four. This one we divide another four. This one we divided two. So what we do to make it uh, easy to do this question, we divide also four. This one got four parts. This one also got four sections. So this one also we let's say I put four. Doesn't matter. If this is we divide four. This we divide four. Same also. This area, the small area, and this is same. Okay. Now, which are the shaded area? These are the shaded one. This is shaded two. This is shaded three. This is shaded four. This is shaded five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight shaded region out of. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that means the shaded area is 1 over 2. So answer is E. Okay, there are four teams in a soccer tournament. Okay, we have a four team. Let's say we have A, B, C, D, four team. Each team plays every other team exactly one. That means if we take A, A can be play B. Play C or play D. That means each team can play three games only. Okay. If you take D, D can play C, B or A. So that means each one can play three games. The winner will get three points. When lose, they will get zero points. When draw, they get one point. Okay. Okay. Both teams score one point. Okay. After all matches have been played, which of the following total number of points is impossible? So when we have a three game, let's say a team can be win, win, win. It can win all the three games. When we win all the three games, you can get three plus three plus three. So three plus three plus three, nine points. It can be also win, win, lost. So when lost, you will get zero point six. Okay, that means possible uh, uh, C is not the answer. Okay, I write here yeah, the answers A, B, C, D, E. We just cancel or uh, we just throw the other correct answer. So six cannot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now if because six is a possible, eh? let's say win, win, draw. How many points you get? Three plus three plus one, you get seven points. So 7 also out of the answer. So now let's say we take uh, one win only. One win, one lost. Uh, let's say one lost and one draw. So 3 points, here 0 point, here 1 point. So you get 4 points. 4 also cannot be. Okay. And then let's say he win one game and then draw 2 games. So 3 point, 1 point, 1 point. So you can get a 5 point. So 5 also cannot be. So the answer should be 8E. 
okay because why eight cannot when he already win two games okay he will already collect six points the next game the third game he can win oh sorry already win he can win he can lost or he can draw he win he plus three he got nine point lost he plus zero he got six point if draw he plus one he got seven point that means there's a no possible we go to eight points so the answer is e eight points okay look at this question the diagram shows a shape made up of 36 identical small triangles so if you count one two three four so i think you can get a 36 identical triangle okay what is the smallest number of such triangle that could be added to the shape to turn it into hexagon so hexagon has six sides okay something like this okay now this shape what we do we try to divide into two first okay up and down okay when i see here i have one two three down here i got one two three okay so when i what i can do so i can connect this and this up to here okay and then it goes up and then it will be comes here okay the same thing i will do it for here when i connect this and this this will goes here this will goes here same thing i connect these two so this i will goes here this will goes here and then i connect in these two up to here and this will go here and then these four i connect like this so now this is a hexagon when you see this one is one two three the length this one also one two three this also 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. That is a regular hexagon. Now we have to count how many triangles we added here now. Eh? So, where we add the triangles? Okay, we start from here. This is 1. Here we got 2 triangles. Here I got 1, 4. Here I got 1, 5. Here I got 1, 6. Here 7. Here got 2, 8, and 9. 10, 11. Okay, here 11 and 12. So 13, 14, 15, 16, and then this is 17 and 18. So it means I have to add 18 triangle to make it hexagon. So the answer will be D, 8. Okay, Kanga wants to multiply three different numbers from the following list. He has minus 5, minus 3, minus 1, 2, 4, and 6. What is smallest result she could obtain? We want the smallest number. So smallest number we must go to her to get a negative number. Okay, if positive is already, even positive one is already more than any negative number. So we have to go for a negative number. So now we want to multiply three numbers. Okay. To get a negative value. Okay, if three numbers, so I could add all these three as a negative number or maybe only one as a negative number. Okay, if I put two negative number and then the answer will be positive. So it could be one negative or three negative numbers. Okay, first I try all the three negative numbers first. Only I have three numbers, three possibilities. Minus three, minus one. Okay, so five times three is 15, minus 15, minus a uh, minus 15. Okay, now let's say I don't want to use three number. I want to use only one negative number. Okay. So when I want to multiply with one negative number, this let's say this is a negative, this is a positive, and this is a positive. So these two numbers must be the largest number as possible. Okay, from these three number. Okay. If I want to get the largest number possible from these two three positive numbers, I should take four and six. Okay, and then the negative number should be a, the smallest negative number. So among these three numbers, the smallest number is minus five. So then only I can get a large, uh, the smallest number. Okay, six times four is hundred twenty. Uh, so six times four is twenty-four. 24 times 5 is 120, so negative. So this one cannot be, minus 15 cannot be. So the correct answer is minus 120. So the answer is B. Ok, 
Okay, if John goes to school by bus and walks back, he travels for three hours. That means when going to school, he take bus. Coming back, he walks. So it will take three hours. Okay. This question, I think we can do using algebra. Okay, and then when he goes by bus both ways, that means he go to school bus, coming back. Coming back also by bus, it take just one hour. We just take numbers. Okay, that means in this equation, two b equal to one. So b equal to one and a half. That means you only travel half an hour using bus. That means from equation one, let's say this is equation one, this is equation two. You know that b plus w is three. So when he walk, how long did he take? To reach school, so when he walk, he took three minus half is two and half hours, one way. Okay, so he want to walk to school and come back, but also by walking. Okay, you will take two and half hours times two, two, two way, yeah, both way. So it will take around five hours. So the answers will be D. Okay, in this question, a number is written in each cell of the three times three square. Okay, let's say draw it. Okay, so this is three times three square. Okay, when I plus all the numbers in each row, row first row twenty four, second row is twenty six, third row is forty. Okay, and then the column first column I got total is twenty seven, second column is twenty, the third column I don't know. So the question asked to find what is the number should be what is the sum of the these three cells from this column as eh? the sum of these three numbers. Okay, so this question is not that difficult. So what we do first when we plus these three, these three, and these three, eh? that means the overall the total number sum of the boxes nine boxes is equal to just add these three numbers. Okay, that means one, two, three is here. Four, five, six is here. Seven, eight, nine is here. That means the, all the nine boxes we plus, we get the total is six plus four is zero one. Four plus four is eight ninety. Okay. Now the sum of the total all the nine boxes is ninety. When we count from here, the same thing when we count from up to down. Okay, these three plus these three plus these three should be ninety. So 27 plus 20. So let's say we don't know. Okay, this one. So we put x. Okay. So plus x equal to 90. 20 plus 27 is 47. Plus x is 90. So x equal to 90 minus 47. Okay. So which is equal to 90 minus 47 is uh, this is 3, uh, 43. So the answer should be b. Okay.